Shout out to everybody in my motherfucking comments on my YouTube and all the subscribe. I think I got like eighty plus subscribers in like three weeks. Hey, you know? round of applause. That's a big and achievement. Everybody yeah. hopping on the Damon X uh, Machina videos. Thank you. Yes, I love all the comments. I love fucking playing people in PvP and then they comment it like, "Yo, that was me. Yo, that's me in the video." Oh, yeah. that's lit. Yeah, it's so sick, bro. That's so fire, dog. So, yo, shout out to everybody. Hell yeah. In the comments, the likes, the loves. I appreciate it all. Even the critics. Thank you guys. Keep really commenting. Keep yeah, commenting. Keep criticizing. Do yes. all that. We like that. Keep I'm going. I'm learning. Like, for sure. I have plans. I've been having these plans for my YouTube. Hopefully, I get better. <laughs> thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for loving it, bro. I'm loving all the comments. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, thank you guys. Um, But back to podcast episode. I don't even know what episode this is. Let's not seven. bring that shit up. This is not that. <laughs> we always wrong. This we is always today. wrong. We here today. We, we getting it here. in. So first on the list is we got some Marvel shit I want to talk about. Yes. First and foremost. The Venom first you just put me on that I didn't even know was a thing. I didn't know it was an official thing. Like I seen yeah, that picture yeah, right. like he had in the um, thumbnail, but I didn't know it was a real story. So like my kids like for me to st- Put comic story, you know, so yeah, like, yeah. and they oh, like shit. Venom. Actually, he hit the fan, bro. <laughs> and they like Venom. Might pick that shit up. They it's like the other one. Oh, shit. <laughs> and Sorry, they right. and they like Venom, and they like Carnage, and it's like I know him shit like Carnage, but bro. Venom's alright. So I let them watch it because I'm driving them to school until like two days for them to gotta, like watch. I gotta show. Hold up, I gotta show the fucking. Fuego, we put it on the other day. Speaking of Venom and Carnage, did yeah. I put it on the podcast? I don't know, but it, it's so nasty. It deserves to go. I'm gonna try to time. get this in the background. I just gotta buy something to hold it. I ain't wanna put no holes in it. But yeah, your boy's a huge Venom right, Carnage bro. fan, and a friend bought this shit. <laughs> and if y'all don't know where that pose is from, that's Outcast. Um, I forget what album it is. Uh, 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 the Bombs Over Baghdad album. <laughs> yeah. Bombs Over Baghdad. I can't remember what it's called, but that, that, that looks fine. I think Absolute Carnage just finished today. Did it? I think so. I was going to pop it on, but not around the kids. Because, like, so, yeah, so, like, I popped this universe, Venomverse thing for them. Mm. And, like, so, I heard a certain couple things, you know. I'm like, damn, you know, shouldn't mm-hmm. have them watching it. But I'm like, all right, cool. So it took two days to stay watching. So, and today, I'm like, I've been wondering, because they were like, I could hear them say, like, T'Challa or something. I'm like, yo, Black Panther got the Venom shit? <laughs> they were like, yeah. I'm like, I gotta check that out. Yo, there was like a bunch dope, of bro. characters, like Logan. <clears throat> there was a bunch of characters. So I was like, so I checked it out, and I was like, I shouldn't have let them watch this stuff. Like, Probably this not, is, dude. It was, it was, and this was... Pretty, pretty bad. violent. There was a lot of curse words. Um, a lot of bad parenting on my end. <laughs> comic historian blanked a lot of the shit out. He did. He did. But but the visuals are still there. Yeah, you know the visuals are still there. You can kind of figure out where. It, the, uh, the like, uh, but um, good job overall. Yo, good. Jo- Yo, com- shout out to comics historian too. Seriously, man. Him and comics is playing in dope spill comics. <laughs> Those three are like the only, like. So oh, that's how I, I read comics now. Like I go straight to them and get the sources. Yeah. Um, and I like both. I like the experience I get from all three, but definitely a dope story overall. That Venom for a shit. And it was cool. It wasn't super long. It wasn't super nah, dragged nah, nah. out. It wasn't short either. Yeah. It wasn't long. It wasn't it was short. A good it lead. was just good. And it was like it kept you interested because mm-hmm. it was always changing up. And they the, look, the story was always changing up from one character to another, mm-hmm. one scenario to another. So it, and they explained how most of the characters had in their universes got their symbiote or whatever. So it was a pretty cool story. Yeah. Man. I fuck with. It was Marvel. well done. It was well done. Like yeah. I fuck with Marvel shit, man. I'm really liking how a lot of this stuff is starting to connect to yeah, like yeah. when you listen to all these different comics and hear how this stuff connects <coughs> and hear how like, oh, this happened in, in Hulk chapter this, which is happening at the same time as Venom chapter this. So when they meet up, it's like, bam, oh. So being on the topic that we're at, mm-hmm. how about that new uh, line that Disney's pushing out with the X-Men comic book? Yeah, so that... 
That's dope because I've been I've been listening to the House of X storyline yeah. and the Powers of Ten or whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you followed any of that? <coughs> I'm not 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 really. So I, I've heard a line here and there about um Cyclops. Mm-hmm. Uh, no spoilers. No, fuck, we spoiling this. It's over. Then he died. Hey, yo, Cyclops died. Yeah, yeah, I thought he died. Wolverine but I didn't died. watch a lot of it. Like, I watched one and it was like Cyclops. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn. Bro. I so like, like, fucked up because it was too good of a point to, mm-hmm. to watch. Like, if, you guys you haven't, if you guys haven't read this shit and y'all comic fans, don't read it. <laughs> but <laughs> fucking go to Comics is Plain. Yes. Or, any comics, or Dose Bill Comics. I don't know if um Comic Historian have it up. But listen to them shit. He has a lot of X Men stuff too. Like, listen to that. I shit. like the way they all break it down. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure the what were your two dudes? Comic Explo- or Comics Explained Explains. and Dope Spill Comics. Comics Explains. He doesn't really narrate or read the thing. Right? No, he kind of just, just breaks, breaks down, down the story. You know, right? Yeah. How about the other guy? So he does the same thing, and I listen <laughs> to both because they both give they, like different sides to it. Yeah. yeah perspectives. So, like, but what? What comics explains have over dope spills like comics explain is like he had, he damn near has like all the facts because he's been reading fucking yeah, yeah he's got like books forever like information from a book yeah. to another book mm-hmm. new another not mm-hmm. and yeah, he pulls I, I up the yeah he they both do it where like they'll pull up old comics to explain like where yeah, the references depth, and stuff like, yeah right, mm-hmm. right right but they both get different sides and like sometimes dope spill will show a little bit more into something else. And then Comics Explain will show another side of something else. Time. What I love about fucking Comics Story, he just reads that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's what I'm saying. Everything. That's what, but the other dudes, you get a more in depth mm-hmm. perspective of what's but going on. But you understand on. it, because sometimes you'll watch yeah, yeah, yeah. Comics Historian. Right. And you're like, all this shit will happen, and you're like, oh, and you're like remember, what the yeah. fuck is going on? <laughs> right, right. And you right. watch Comics Explain right after, and it's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This will, and then. Like, oh, that's why this is important. I'm not going to lie, because there's times in comics, uh, it comic stories bro. where it's confusing, and I got to watch a bunch of shit yeah. to figure out. Like, typically, the way I do it is instead of typing in, like, a certain event, I might type in, or, like, like if it's a Secret Wars, mm-hmm. I'm going to type in the Secret Wars to get everything in order, because yeah, I have yeah. playlists. That's but another if, confusing part. If I want to know shit about Wolverine... Mm-hmm. Like one time I was just looking Wolverine shit and there's like I'll put a playlist and it'll be a bunch of just Wolverine. Yeah. And then like one will be about old man Logan and his mm-hmm. story and it'll just And I, I think what's shit. cool about comics explaining and then comics historian is they, they both cool with each other. <coughs> so I think sometimes they'll play off of each other. So yeah, they'll cover. Like, yeah, I'm talking about this. Yeah. yeah. So No, they do they do a good job. Yeah, they, they do a really do, good job in comics. They do a good job. Like, it gets me really fucking. It, it really is Marvel. Yeah, yeah it like, gets you interested, but the like, because like, yo, like real talk. Talk to me. Like, we want to be big, like, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like we feel like we're not gonna get there. Mm-hmm. Like, I, well, you know I don't what I'm saying? Know about like, you, me. I mean, I don't know about you, but nah, nah. <laughs> I feel like we can because we nice at what we do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, the odds. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, the odds are crazy. But, mm-hmm. like, and like, yo, I see what's out there. And I could get better. Like, yes. if I'm where I'm at now, mm-hmm. if I put in the time and make it work, mm-hmm. I could get better. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's always like, cool. Like, I've been listening to different podcasts and different YouTube videos. And it's like, and you definitely see, like, where they started. Yeah. yeah and yeah. that shit is like. It's inspiring, bro. Because you're like, yeah, we did it. The quality we, was yeah, bad. Yeah, the fucking facts. videos were on track. You, they try different things throughout their videos and like, oh, this didn't work. You see I can't what it took. Wait to get my PC. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I get the PC, it's grind time, mm. bro. Like, but I'm yeah. not gonna slack. Like, you already <laughs> getting eighty likes in one week or eighty follow, following subscribers in one week, bro. I was, I was like, and it's only people. gonna keep getting. Oh right, yeah, it's, it's only gonna get better, two, man. Two or three weeks, right? Mm-hmm. So like, let's say three weeks. 80 times 3. Mm-hmm. That shit is what? Like fucking 20. If I get there, man. I mean, I definitely got definitely got some work to do. I know I got work to do. You're going to get there. Bro. It's only going to get better, bro. He's going to get there because it's already... <laughs> like his shit is already getting a decent amount of following. And you're just going to get better. 
I just lucky, man. You we got a good, saying? got a good uh, community nah, for this game, bro. Ain't no lucky. That's just hard work. <laughs> hard work. It does, yo. I'll be up at night, dude, re-recording some of these videos. You, I'll be seeing you doing the morning <laughs> post and shit. I'm like, I was watching Breaking Bad at that time. Like, what is he doing away? Back to the X Men shit. Yes. Though. Yeah, yeah. Back to the X Men. Okay. Shit. So like, there was there's two there was two stories going side by side. And this is supposed to uh, prepare for the relaunch of the X Men series. All right. So there was Powers of Ten and there was House of X. And I think Powers of Ten was I don't know if you know who Moira Mattaggart is. No. Nope. She's kind of a love interest to Xavier, on and off love interest. Mm-hmm. And she's part, she's like she's like um, an expert in like mutant um, DNA. Not DNA specifically, but like DNA, like the struct, like she's like a mutant. Uh, in, um, what is it, genealogy? Uh, mutant uh, genealogy. Ge- uh, geology. No, not geology. Like the gene, like the genes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Genealogy, whatever. I'm not yeah, as smart, yeah, yeah. No, but no, no. Uh, <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you. But yeah, so like, so you find out like she's she was never never been a mutant from. However, whenever the X-Men, sh- or she was introduced, she's never been a mutant. She's okay. always been a human. All right. So you find out that her mutant, she actually is a mutant, and her power is, okay. she's re- re- every time she dies, she gets reincarnated. Uh-huh. And she lives the same timeline, no matter what. So you find out she, and then like, so. So you live the same story? She, in a she different will, timeline? Yeah, like so. Every she, time she gets reincarnated, she gets reincarnated right where she started. All right, so she gets reborn. Oh, she she, she she's the same, same person. Life? She's the same life. She can change stuff, but every time she dies, it starts over. Okay. So every time, so and then every so every story like Age of Apocalypse storyline, um, House of M storyline, all that stuff is just different realities based off of her. Some, some of her actions or what happened. So, so it's like a, three different multiverses? Yeah. So, so they, like she's kind of like... It's almost like she's um, the only thing... Not experimenting. But yeah, she kind of is in the story. Like, So she's trying to find out... What, like every time she makes it to whatever point in her life, all the mutants die out through one way or another. Either Sentinels kill them. Usually the Sentinels kill them. Like they just get... The Sentinels get so far advanced, mutants can't stop them. They wipe out all the sentinels or something and stuff like that. Hmm. So, House of X is her tenth life, and her during her tenth life she goes to Xavier and collects. She's been collecting all this, like in her mind, she's been collecting everything that happened in her head, and so she goes to in her tenth life. She's like, "Fuck it, we got to do something drastically different." Right, right, right. So, because all her other life, she either try to do something her own, and it all ends up, to yeah, or yeah. try to team up with the Brotherhood, trying to team up with the mutants, and they always, no matter what, some kind of way they always die. So, powers of House of X, she goes like, "Yo, fuck it, you and Magneto got to come together." She lets uh, Charles read her mind. And he's like, yo, we got to break all the rules. So fucking the X-Men find out, like, where this... So it starts kind of like the X-Men find out where this um this fa- this facility in space is, like, they're creating a Sentinel. I think it's called a Master Mode. Okay. And the Master Mode creates... It's a Mother Mode? I think it's Mother Mode. And the Mother Mode creates Master Modes. And the Master Mode, is like, creates Sentinels. Okay. So yeah, it's like a a, being, a machine that can create a machine. It creates more machines, I think. All right. So they they send these um they send Nightcrawler, Angel, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Mystique, somebody else on a pretty much a suicide mission to destroy this Sentinel, and that's that that chapter alone is fucking amazing, bro. Because how they fucking yo, the how they fucking go out, bro, is fucking crazy. But yo, they anyways they su- they succeed in destroying the thing. They all die pretty much, and then Xavier's like, no more. It's gonna happen. Like they're not gonna kill any more of my people. So Xavier pretty much takes over. Xavier Magneto pretty much and take they over. They all find together. They all find together. 
they pretty much take over the world. Like they got, they find their own um, like island. There's a in the early X Men comics. There's a uh, there's like this mutant type island thing. Okay. Uh, what's his name? Genosha, Genova. All right. And no, is it Genosha? I don't remember the name of that shit. Paradise, bro. No, no. I it's forgot like what they hide away, like for, for like But yeah, they go. They so literally live on this living island. Okay. Like it's alive. Krakoa. So they literally go live on this island named Krakoa. It's actually a mutant, and then they take one of the mutant cipher, whose ab- mutant ability is to understand any language. He learns how to talk to it. Yo, is it cool we live here? Yes. So and then Mister Sinister, Charles forces Mister Sinister to like, yo, you're working for us now. With his mind, whatever, telepathy. Yeah. Like, forcing him to work with us. Like, yo, all this DNA shit, I want you to collect every mutant DNA in the world. And you just focusing on that for the rest of your life. So he does that. And then he finds out how to bring mutants back to life. So he can leave, he like clones them. Mm-hmm. He has this fucking portable Cerebro thing on his head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That collects fucking um, memories. mutant memories. Right. And then he like makes them like... He has like five certain uh, five mutants that like combine their powers and they literally bring a mutant back to life. Fire. Yo, this is crazy. Fire. Bring them back to life, plug in their memories. They test it. It's like, yo. So now, all mutants are pretty much immortal. If they die, they can come back. Government don't like that shit. Yo, so Krakoa, something's growing, some plants are growing on Krakoa that cures human any human disease pretty much and can like boost the um the immunization levels all that and um how long humans can live for oh shit okay. so they're like okay now they first they forced their way in the united nations kind of like yo we're a, we're from now on a country mean, yeah she said we're a country y'all can't fuck with us y'all come over Kapanahara. here that's a war yeah. yeah and um and any mutant born from the time from the time of um, they're born and the time uh, the time of the powers manifest, they're automatically a member of their country. So they're safe and they can't be touched by any other nation. Now that drug I was talking about, they're like, yo, we have this drug that will put pharma out of business. Mm. We would have gave it to you guys, but since you guys are fucking assholes, we can sell it to you guys. So now they about to be they literally just taking over the world. Damn. They took over the fucking world. That's lit. So yeah, so that's gonna so the niggas took over. Mm-hmm. And this this takeover and their own like independence is gonna be the start of the new comic X Men uh, launch relaunch series. Lit. So they bring it back like X Force team, Excalibur, um, and they all getting a fresh slate. All, it's kind scratch. of all like fresh. It's like it's still gonna build off this story, but it's gonna be all like fresh like. And the MCU can put, go. That's off I'm wondering stuff, if they're do, one of the reasons why they're doing it is <clears throat> some new ideas that Marvel could take from the comics. The, yeah, MCU could take from the <clears throat> comics because the X Men could be on the fucking. I right can now. almost guarantee there's gonna be a lot of PCism in it, almost like the um, DC. With the mm-hmm. new twenty one or whatever it is. Oh, uh, new fifty two. New fifty two. Mm-hmm. Like I can kind of see, cause you know how they got very PC with it. They got so I don't, colored heroes playing. Yeah, I don't think they're heroes. doing all that. I think uh, it seems like Marvel. <laughs> what they've been doing lately is like resetting all the heroes to go back to like the original days. So literally, like Thor just got kind of like a reboot. Hulk is going through some thing right now. I think he's gonna get like a little reboot after this shit's said and done. And all these stories right now are connecting to like, like they're already like showing pieces of the future, right? Um, through these different stories, so all this stuff is gonna collide, like, and then it's about to be something's crazy about to happen. I think I think it's gonna be a really dope, like, massive event when all said and done. Like, I think it's gonna be crazy. I think the X Men are gonna end up dying out somewhere or another. Even Apocalypse, Apocalypse joined the fucking X Men and all them too. So like that's how big. So the mutants, like every mutant, is fucking with is one group right now. So let me ask you. Hold up. Speaking of this, let me Google this shit real quick before I go. 
Forget but yeah, it's, it's going to be dope. It's going to be crazy. And it, the cool thing about it, too, is like it's really good storytelling. The way everything's connecting and how everything's connecting into these other comics, bro. Shit's going to be crazy. So speaking of that... <coughs> um... Black Knight. Black Knight. Did you watch that thing I was telling you? Yeah, I watched that, and that's probably the most I've ever learned about Black Knight. I really don't know much about his character. I knew he was on Avengers. I knew he was on Defenders. I'm pretty sure he was on Heroes for Hire, but I didn't know how, what his. I still don't know his role. I didn't know he led the Avengers for a little bit. Yeah, I didn't know that either. And. I don't fucking. I feel like that video kind of confirms what I've been saying is I think the Eternals are gonna lead up to the X Men or the mutants. But did you? I don't know what else. You may not have watched. Up, you probably didn't watch the whole thing, right? I did watch the whole thing. I listened you did. To it. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the part where one of his powers was or something like that was like to manipulate? Yeah, a, manipulate. A gene yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Like that? Oh, you've been calling that shit, bro. So I what I heard weeks back was I can't remember which because I'm not familiar with the characters, the heroes. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm not. Sure. But there was like one of them, the Eternals, dies on Earth, mm-hmm. and their body, um, obviously is buried on the ground, mm-hmm. and as it decomposes, is um something leaks out that causes the um the gene what's that what's that shit called the uh, m gene the x gene the x gene right right it causes the x that like he dies and the earth as mm-hmm. he decomposes takes um is affected pretty much by the x gene that's left behind and that's how mutants are born mm-hmm. see cause uh they might do that I don't know it's kind of loosely I could yeah, be wrong yeah. about some loose Pretty much is what, oh, what I heard, what oh. I was listening, and I was like, not when I hear all that, I'm like, that makes it makes sense. some sense, man. You know what I mean? That's why I think they all gonna die, besides Black Knight. Maybe somebody else. Was well, Cersei? She might live. Cersei <laughs> and Black Knight and Sprite might live, but I think most of them are gonna die. I don't know, and I don't even know how because they're supposed to be fighting the Deviants. That video said that's like was the main uh, enemy, I guess. But I don't know. That's another thing. I wouldn't be surprised to see like Thanos or a baby Thanos in this movie either. That'd be lit. But um, I, I really don't know how it's gonna play out or what's the movie gonna be solely about. I just think it's gonna be like towards the end you're gonna see something linked to mutants. So, I don't know, I'm really interested. I see they filming with it, and I'm pretty sure they've been in, like, the old school clothes. Wouldn't it be lit? This is me just thinking. Mm-hmm. If, like, the end of this movie, Eternals, towards the end, it flashes way forward. Like, it, it already establishes the whole X-Gene mm-hmm. and Mutants thing in the future. It's possible, But man. wouldn't it be cool if they also, like, it led all the way up to, like, they flash way forward to Avengers 2 mm-hmm. and focus a little bit on Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. That would be dope, actually. A little bit. Well, more. the Eternals maybe, are maybe, technically immortal, so maybe, they don't get killed. I mean, they don't age or whatever, so if they don't get killed... The movie could take place from. I think they're like demigods and they can yeah. die. They can die. They can, but you they have to can kill be them. killed. Yeah, but they but won't. I don't think they'll die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. unless you kill them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I think like if you don't try to kill them, they can live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they might go on for a while, bro. The movie might go from like one time period to the I think it'll be next. yeah. I think that's it's gonna be multiple time periods yeah. for sure. Like, so I'm definitely interested on what they're gonna do, and I'm probably gonna watch it just to see if my my theory is correct. I watch it. I watch it. We could go. Movie they got some night, good actors. Movie release, movie release night, Thursday. Hey. Bottle, bottle. 
Hey. Hey. Shots in the parking lot. Hey. No security. Hey. <laughs> uh, we like to go to the movie theater down in um, Miramar, Florida. Miramar. Yeah, that's where we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, that's Miramar. where we go drinking, right. Miramar, Florida. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else we want to talk about? There was something supposed to. A nice little segue there from, more, from mm. this shit to something else. Talk about the Venomverse. Venomverse, my words. Um, I know PS Five is dropping. Okay. Are you getting that shit on release? Probably not. <laughs> you getting it at all? Maybe, but probably not. <laughs> like, I'm planning on getting the PC, mm-hmm. and it's not gonna be better than the PC. No. So, since the urgency to get it, not that high. Mm-hmm. If I was like. Not getting a PC, I'd probably be torn between what which two to get. Mm-hmm. But I'm not really that. I'm they, not it. I don't plan on getting it at launch. They'd have to announce something crazy for me to be like, "Yo, I gotta get this at launch," and I don't know what that could be. So like, let's say it's, so, let's say it's like a processor, and this shit loads so fucking fast between scenes, between cinematic scenes. Still don't matter. It looks clean and like it takes half a second. You can't even see it when it integrates from that scene to you playing. Mm -hmm. Is that really worth the price? Uh, We don't know the price yet. But like, like, let's say, let's say the price is four hundred bucks. That'd be worth it. Okay, let's say this is four hundred dollars, right? And five hundred gigs. You know, that's not even terabyte. That's just a starter (laughs) pack. You know, starter pack. Um, so let's say like the graphics aren't even up to par with your PC. Like let's say no. let's say let's say it is. Let's say they seize your card, your video mm-hmm. card, but all you gotta pay is one hundred and fifty bucks to get it up there. Mm-hmm. Or you gotta pay another fifty bucks. Let's say hypothetically, mm-hmm. and you pay two hundred dollars and you get the most badass fucking video card for your motherboard. Yeah. Then that sound like a way better investment already than fucking a whole nother console with bugs and shit that needs to be passed. The only thing about, see, consoles will have something PC never has, and that's mostly exclusives. Mm -hmm. So what is Sony going to put on there that's going to make me want a PS4 just to play that game? Sony Marvel has some shit. games for PS4, listen, but not that many. Listen, with the whole Sony and Marvel new agreement and deal mm-hmm. it would not surprise me yeah, if Sony it. can use their characters for Sony exclusive games you know how we got the super the Spider-Man that's yeah exclusive? but even even Marvel games wouldn't really sell me like they didn't have to have a crazy Marvel game bro right, this is bad ass but even Spider-Man then ones, even then this they not gonna do head. that yo heads they not gonna do that we got Ultimate Alliance on the Switch exclusive it's true so I know they're not gonna do that. So I don't know. They have to have some crazy games. Bah! Shut that bird down. <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna do that. This is cool. All right, all right. This is cool. So, so what else we got here? I, Last of Us Two coming on PS4. Can't wait for that. So I'm not getting a PS5 for that. No. Uncharted's kind of dead. Never played in my life. I like those games, but not enough to even if even if they announce another Uncharted, Uncharted launch title for PS Five, Uncharted I'm not big enough in Uncharted for me to be like okay, I'm gonna get a PS Five. Wouldn't it be lit as fuck? And I know this won't happen because Xbox is owned by Microsoft, mm-hmm. and PC most of the PC world is Microsoft kind of operating system wise. It's kind of Microsoft based. Mm-hmm. Not all of it, but I think a lot of it probably is. Um, if the consoles combine, like work together, ah, never to shit on the PC, they couldn't. They could never really because the graphics, the frame rates, the, all that shit. Just, we could it barely, doesn't compare. We know? could barely get them to do. You know how long it took for crossplay, bro? We just got the crossplay. Bro, crossplay since like two thousand seven. That's what I'm saying. Easy. PC been doing that with Switch. That's when I started playing Xbox Live. That's what 2007. Bro. So we just got I just graduated high school. We just got crossplay or Sony just got like yo everybody we can do crossplay now. 
we just got to that point. You know what game is pushing cross pay heavy? What? Big time platform game comes oh, out oh. in nine days. <laughs> Guess what nine I'm Nine days. He's talking about is it free? Is it free? Is it free? I get it when it's dropped, but it's free. Nah, it like drops. So you gotta get, bro. We got Xbox. Gold. I'm telling you, dog. Look at your fucking platform. Look at your Fuck, man. Everybody plays Call of Duty. Play with me. Pause. <laughs> no, pause. Pause. My numbers, like, yo, we can get it in. And the oh beauty of God. it is it's cross platform. I'm not blaming Get it PC, for the niggas. PC. Get it for the, but you, But if you play for the PC, as long as you play on your controller, yeah, yeah, that's you right, can yeah. play with us. You know what I'm saying? Because I play with them. Get PC, it on the PS4. PS4. Get it on the Xbox. Either way, we could get it on. <laughs> oh that's the beauty God. of it. And I'm going to be fucking murdering. <laughs> Niggas is going to get killed. A lot. A lot. 20 oh. fucking kill games. Almost all the time. Yeah, for me, I'm good, bro. for me, I me. almost want to get it just to play with my boy. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I almost want to get it. Nigga, imagine you, boy. me, CJ. CJ not getting that shit. Well, fuck CJ. Then. <laughs> I, I, I need your help, nigga. <laughs> um, fucking uh, 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 Kevin. Kevin might get that shit. I know you got that little Puerto Rican tang. <laughs> he probably don't play no more and shit. I'll never see him. Nah, that nigga, he worked two jobs and. Oh god. I don't know what it is. Next comment is you. <laughs> but, nigga, tell me, bro. No, man. And then when they bring that no, hardcore man. nigga, they're like, ah, bah, 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 niggas die. <laughs> I don't know, bro. You see. Well, yeah, the PS5 ain't got shit. I'm making my believer. Whatever, bro. Would no. y'all want me to play Call of Duty? They're going to say no. Give us a thumbs up for yes. They will say comment, no. A comment for yes. Say no. Anyways, shit. Lame. Yo, so I heard this chick. She was rapping some song. I don't know if she's famous or what. But she said she's Latina. And they tripping because she said the N word. Since when? Since. <coughs> I, as, as, big yo. pun can say niggas Bro <laughs> Pitbull What the fuck And we're gonna draw the line Takashi Bro what We're gonna draw the line on a female I'll tell you what What Yo since elementary school Question mark Since Question elementary mark. school Question mark. Yo I remember one time I was like I am got to a fight for saying that shit For saying it or down in Miramar. When I was um here in Miramar. When I was in elementary <laughs> school. When I was in elementary school, I remember some Spanish kids said it. I was like, oh, thinking because I thought only niggas could say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I didn't even think niggas could say it. Cause I was like, what, six maybe? I don't know how old I was. I was in elementary school. And I was like, oh. and the song was like, oh, black people can say it. I was like, oh, okay. And then my dude, Spanish, he said he said it. I was like. <coughs> And then this black dude was like, yo, it's cool, bro. He's Spanish. I was like, what? So what? He was like, bro. We're all niggas to them. He said, nigga is a fucking, comes from the word negro. He's like, negro is Spanish. Negro. So why the fuck are they yo, saying? Facts. And I was like. Big facts. So maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I wasn't Big taught facts. right. But as far you as know I why? know, <coughs> Cause Spanish people say nigga. There's black people in many fucking cultures, except for the Europeans, and that's because it's cold over there, the weather climate, but like, mm-hmm. like, even then, like, you have, every culture has a little uh, black section, like, you know, <laughs> they got their population that's like, like, all in the Caribbeans is, like, I'll give you an example, like, Puerto Rico, even, like, Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. Dominican Republic, um, Haiti is pretty that's not have y'all been to PR like, have y'all seen pictures of niggas from PR bro, they the come bro. from they are every single you, fucking if you had a little color. more accent like I did you could be my fucking cousin fucking Felipe. Facts. this is Felipe <laughs> but nah I'm dead ass Stop like, him in the... <laughs> <laughs> I got so check it out I got a pair of cousins racist. I got a pair of cousins for everything today's racist <laughs> um fucking 
coldest black races. <laughs> um, I have her cousins of females. I feel like we're going to get canceled if we ever get big. For like a little bit, they're going to try to cancel us. I hope not. <laughs> Maybe it'll make us bigger. <laughs> um, that's not racist. It's only racist because you said it was kind of racist. I was just joking. But anyway, <laughs> so I got a pair of cousins. They're females, and um, one's white. Yeah. Snow. The other one is black. It's night. Darker than me. Maybe a couple shades that lighter, but yeah. not that much lighter. Like mm-hmm. dark. <coughs> Twins, bro. Twins? That's Twins. what I'm saying, bro. And like, I what was just like, when they told me, I was like, y'all lying. <laughs> I was young, I was like, seven Let me years see the old. birth certificate. I was like, seven years old. Sure enough. Twins. <laughs> That's, yo, Puerto Ricans <laughs> are fucking, if the world was like Puerto Rico, it'd be a better place. So like, she's white, her sister, the twins, one's white, one's black. Mm. My uncle was like a red bone, like me. Probably mm-hmm. a little more red. Like, you could tell he had the native blood in him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. ancestry. And then, like, their mom <coughs> was white. Like, a white skin. They could tell her genes came from, like, Spain. or mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, white, 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 white. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, he was, like, definitely, like, dark, mm-hmm. like, Indian. Native Indian type. You know, they mm-hmm. called Incas. The Incas out there. And, uh... That's why my, my blood. Like, my mom... Like, my mom, she I could tell her genes come from his line of the family because mm-hmm. she's very same like. Yeah. You see my uncle. Mm-hmm. Dark like he's dark. Yeah, yeah, he is dark. My aunt. I was like, my who aunt, that is? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of deal y'all got going yeah, on right. here? Like, no, that's my well, uncle. Like, like, like what? I'm related. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and then my other aunt, my mom's oldest sister. Is dark like him, like maybe dark, maybe like your skin, bro, like dark. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And like, um, I'm dark as fuck, bro. And then like, then you got my youngest aunt, who's sh- like maybe a little more yellow, yeah. maybe a little more golden than me, but like it's just like different hues. And then you got my other cousin who's white, and you're like, what the fuck? I don't even got crazy. Spanish in my family. Like, I don't doubt co- it. I got Spanish cousins. Like, listen. Powerhouses around the world, at, in different times in mm. different eras. The British, for a small like, think about. Have you ever thought about how like small perspective, mm. Great Britain is land wise, yeah. and how much of the world they had conquered and like, maybe conquered isn't the right word, but like took over, conquered, yeah, is the conquered. Right word. <laughs> and like. <clears throat> everything is based off their influence mm-hmm. like before that the Spaniards were mm-hmm. big fucking world invaders you know what I'm saying so it's like it only makes sense that only at some point all these genes inter fucking mingled yeah. with one another and bred and fucking you know it's only natural like cause it's all, always happened like like <clears throat> on the west side of the US what gene is very fucking popular? The Asian gene, mm-hmm. right? And like people say Asian and they think oh straight Asia, but like yeah, but like those people came to South America way before that. Mm-hmm. When they came to South America, who they meet up with the indigenous people of South America, mm-hmm. the Incas, the all all the natives of the Americas. Yeah. So they were fighting it out, made peace, trade did all this yeah, thing yeah, yeah. bread so like a lot of these like natives that we grow up you know what I mean like sometimes you see Spanish people like the Mexican women you're like damn she bad she look Asian Bro, she yo, you know what I'm saying like you get that that because when it's I that when I worked at CBS you know this chick was Mexican I knew she was Spanish but yeah 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 but you didn't expect like, that yo right 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 she was bad too bro I'm telling she you she was bad I'm too telling you, dude. she wanted me I think they all do Pretty as fuck. Pretty as fuck. But nah, I'm, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> I like, I like history. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I had to be a teacher mm-hmm. and I had to teach a profession and like anything physical, like sports, was not a lot. Mm-hmm. It probably be history. His history is wild. Like, history's dope. History's crazy Too bad because we don't learn from it, it always repeats itself. Mm-hmm. One, that's the biggest thing, and two. 
History is nothing more than what the person who lives in the war feels to tell. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't hear history from the guy who just died. Think about it, man. Everybody's like Columbus. Think about about Monday, bro. Columbus Day. Did you know it's Columbus Day Monday? Yeah. No, but I don't. I don't care because it's not real. It's not. That's the thing. It's real, but it's not. That's the thing. What we said. Nobody was talking about Columbus Day. Yeah. They might well, I forgot shit. kids were in this. If I had kids, I probably would realize it more. That's why they didn't have school. Yeah, I yeah. found that out. I was like, do we work? Yeah, I'm, we work. I'm driving. Uh, I'm driving. I'm like, I don't see no buses. I'm like, what's going on? Traffic is light. And they told me to like 4 o'clock. <laughs> I was like, it's Columbus Day. Bro, I'm telling you. Like, like, niggas don't got school on Columbus Day? Uh, <laughs> like, but yeah, like, yo, every, every only thing I saw about Columbus Day was somebody bashing it. Like, why are we celebrating the day to fucking... Oh, uh, this nigga, uh, this dude fucking yeah. raped and killed our Indian people. <laughs> so, like, nobody's this, fucking with it no listen more. Listen to this shit. This dude went to... He landed in Puerto Rico. One of the islands. Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic or mm. Cuba. Or one of them Caribbean islands. I want to say Dominican Republic. I want to say Maybe. PR too, but I'm... But it might... It, it's probably that one. But anyways... I got bad memory. They, they went there and there was none but obviously indigenous people who mm-hmm. lived there. And my um, people. I'm Christopher Indian. Columbus went over there and was friendly, mm-hmm. peaceful, you know. They brought him in, they treated him well, um, fed him, all his people, treated him great, mm-hmm. um, offered them gifts, gold. He was like, oh shit. This thing has got free gold. I can get this shit, take it to the fucking king, and look at me like the greatest fucking person Mm -hmm. ever. Da da da. That's another thing too. Like we hold it all on Columbus. So I don't really think it was all his fault though. Twenty seconds. Twenty. My while it's fresh in my mind. (laughs) So he's there. They give him shit. So he's like, I, I believe the way it went was he wanted to go back to Spain. He's a Spaniard, right? I think Christopher so. Christopher Columbus. Um, anyways, he wanted to go where the fuck he was from. Because he wanted to go back and tell him. Mm-hmm. So, um, turned out he didn't have enough food and provisions to make it back. Yeah. So he asked them for food. And they they said, like, because of the time of the year it was, they had, I think it was, like, going into winter time, mm-hmm. And, like, they had already had picked their provisions for their off year and they didn't have nothing to spare so they were like now nah, we can't help you out we can't do nothing like this is all our shit in the island blah, blah. He's like, all right. so he came back like a couple of days later because in Spain at that time they already kind of had a good idea astrology and the moons and the suns and the stars he knew that it was going to be an apocalypse and the, um, excuse me an eclipse Mm-hmm. And the eclipse was I believe it was an eclipse Where it would show everything red Like So mm-hmm. So he went back to them And was like Yo If y'all don't give me These provisions If y'all don't give me This food Water Blah blah Whatever we need In however many days The sun is gonna be Blocked out by the moon Everything's gonna be red Da 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 And all you people Are gonna die Unless you let us Get the shit More or less mm-hmm. They ain't believe him They ain't wanna give him shit That they came Everything went like he said. Niggas started freaking out, gave him everything, everything left. A lot of them died because of it. they couldn't survive the the, the seasons. Mm-hmm. Crazy, but this motherfucker manipulated them mm-hmm. with the science that they knew at that time, which was astrology. Yeah, astrology wiped out a lot of the fucking indigenous That's people crazy. over there. Methods like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't crazy, know. I gotta bro. look that up. Gotta crazy. I'm shit. telling you. Like, look it up. Look it up. I, I was just like, know. yo, son, this motherfucker was a dickwad. Yeah. But if you was him, would you not play the same card? I mean. You gotta make it back home. Nigga. Let's hey. say you got the hoes. You single. You, you got, got to kids, bring a bunch of gold. You gotta make money. You wanna make a name. It's all, back yo. Back in the day, at the end of the day, day people are looking for number one, bro. And if, if your life. If someone else's life is between theirs and, and yours, they're they're keep they're taking theirs. Facts. 
Nine times out of ten. So was he a dick? Hell yeah. Yeah. Can you fault him for being a dick? Kind of, but not really. If I was in his shoes, mm-hmm. I'd like to think I'm a better man. But <laughs> I feel like I could have made it work. You never but know. I don't know. I wasn't living in those days. Exactly, bro. That was when men were men, men. Still, though. Fuck that nigga. Bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what y'all, what would you think life would be like if he never did this shit, bro? If Christopher Columbus never did it? Yeah. Like, we'd straight, probably be the better side of the fucking world. You think so? Possibly. With Wakanda? Maybe, maybe well, not. Naturally, why? I probably maybe. wouldn't even be here. Naturally, bro. lot. Naturally, maybe. You ever heard of the theory? Mm-hmm. I, I like listen to a lot of shit. Like, yeah. you ever heard of the theory that we've been lied to? As far all as, the time. As far as, well, I don't think that's <laughs> really. I think we are. What do you think I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, but I think. I think We've a lot of shit. Yeah, I think a but lot like, of our histories but are going to, twisted and forged into whatever they want us to think as a Do people. you think that we've been lied to in the sense that the natives to this land are not the Indian natives that we know, but in fact, black people? I never heard that of before. I don't yeah. know if I believe it. But I heard the first person that actually sailed Cause, to because listen, listen to the argument. To America was a black guy. Listen to the argument. In those times, logistically, mm-hmm. how many people could have been living on Earth? Had it been a lot less than what it is today, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you asked me which was no, no, no. But I'm saying like said. this is rhetorical. So like, population is already smaller. What are the odds? How you know how long it took to ship? To, to like sail years, from like from months. Africa to the states, to be shipping to be shipping that many people. I should know. Like let's say you're shipping two hundred thousand people, right? Mm-hmm. It takes, let's say on the short end, it takes six months. Mm-hmm. I know it took way longer than that, but let's say it took six months. And the condition that they had these slaves sleeping, living in, shackled, sitting next to each other, defecating and pissing. Doing everything on each other. Mm-hmm. When this fucking shit goes up and down, shit and piss is fucking going all over the place. You can't move. You're fucking drinking this shit at some point. You can't help it. In what condition, how many people do you think you can keep alive in those times? With malaria, with all these illnesses. Mm-hmm. Shipping from one country to another. I'm not saying I believe this shit. But I'm just saying the way they laid it out, I can, it's feasible. I'm not saying I believe it, but I can see their argument. So it's like, how many people do you really think you can, one, keep alive while bringing them over here, and then when you do, keeping them in a, in a state where they can work out in the field right right off, right yeah, over here? Two, in, that, in those kind of times, 200,000, I'm saying 20,000 maybe, bro. 20,000. So let's say it's not 200,000. It was only like 80,000. That's 000. another thing they say. Like the only the strongest. You know what I'm saying? You like, know, I, heard, uh, I forgot who said it. Somebody I was listening to. He just like, oh. The strongest like, survived, no doubt. They definitely were the only yeah, ones so he was, Somebody was like, I don't know who I was what listening to. What if it was like, all alive? He was like, all the black people alive are the strongest of their people. Of their, yeah, yeah, facts. Because yeah, you had to be. You had to be. You had so to be, your bro. Genes are from the strongest. You expose the people with illnesses yeah. all, all the fucking time. Your genes had your immune, your autoimmune system mm-hmm. had to be so fucking. Imp- That's why so we fast and we jump, bro. Man. Like, bro. I'm just fat. But like, nah, like, um, I'm not saying I believe it, but it's like. I don't know, but I heard the first person to tell here was black man. You no, know, I forgot his name. I read a book. But yo. All right, I don't like I don't get religious like this, right? Mm-hmm. But like, where the first people come from? Everybody says Africa. It's Africa, dog. It was Africa. Mm-hmm. Like it ain't no fucking well. Like I mean, we don't know where the paradise was. We're eating. Where the garden? Uh, you know where? Where? What was the garden called? Uh, garden of Eden. Yeah. yeah. So like, we don't know where that was exactly. Mm-hmm. Because we're not supposed to know. I think the but when they got kicked out, like, like where were the first few fucking big-time world mm-hmm. governments? And, and like... Science I, in the Bible 
seem to agree on one fact that life started in Africa, bro. Everything started in Africa. And that's why, like, that's why, like, everything got reset with who? Fucking Noah. Noah had how many kids? Three kids. His kids were all different. One was thought with coarse hair. The other one was some with the slant eyes. The other one was fucking pit, like had different like no pigmentation. Like he had a white, an Asian, and a fucking black. More or less. Like, you know, when it's all said and done, like more or less. Mm-hmm. Everybody died out. And it was just them with their wives. Everything respawned. Respawned. You know what I'm saying? So you got what? You got Asians, you got blacks, and you got whites. Like more or less. The one you know what I mean, and then there's other history, like it doesn't you know, you don't hear about the Bible, but you hear Families like the obviously geog like biologically, yeah. If you move to the mountains, let's say you move to the mountains as mm-hmm. dark as you are, you gonna move to the fucking Alps, right? Right. Yeah, run away and shit. Of course, you're still gonna be black, but as your your spawn as your family reproduces, mm-hmm. your pigmentation is only naturally gonna get lighter and lighter because of where you live. I'll get lighter if I stay out of something else. If you, what the way you live, your body's gonna adapt to it. Like there's no, it makes sense. The the slant eye shit, I don't understand that a whole lot. I don't know. I can't, you know what I mean. But like, it makes sense. Like some of it makes sense. But people want facts, so it's like you can't really. It's hard to prove something from that long ago when you had no kind of yeah. way to, uh, you know, not but like research it. All that shit fascinates the fuck out of me, bro. Like, I be watching these. I was telling you strange strange history yeah bro fire shit bro like uh, they had one on Cleopatra bro apparently that bitch was bad and she knew she was bad I, I kinda had an idea but like I always thought that Egypt was still in like some kind of power mm-hmm. when she was reigning but she they really weren't so she was trying to latch on and seduce other guys in power oh. to help her out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's when she went to Caesar, Julius Caesar. That mm-hmm. he had came down to Egypt and she got all dressed up. She found out what he liked. But bitches is... Bitches has been, been pillow talking for ages, bro. Bitches been pillow talking for Facts, ages. Don't bro. fall for the pillow talk, man. A lot of good guys fall for the pillow talk. All I know is, fucking look out for yourself. Hey, did you know spaghetti came from China, from Asia? Yeah, I didn't know that. Bro. I want to go back to Japan, bro. Bro, I want to go to Japan. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you this video. Um, oh, how long have we been on? We, we got anything else to talk about? Shit, not really. Um, let's Who see, tries? Let's see, let's see. Think, 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 think. Movies. Movies I ain't heard from nothing. We talk about Yo, Brady you Frank. see the Joker shit? I heard his fucking bomb, bro. I might have to go watch it. I'm thinking the same thing, dog. People are saying this. Let's talk about this weekend. Let's see. I'm going to see when I pay all my shit. Mm-hmm. See what we at. And uh, I'll, I'll let you know because I do want to check that shit out. I might have to go see I heard it's fire, bro. That's what I'm hearing. It's dope. I'm hearing. Somebody said it's better than all the Marvel movies. <laughs> Nah, I don't know about all that, that's but a DC cocksucker. I love DC, man. But mm-hmm. that's a DC cocksucker. Right <laughs> wow. I um, don't know about all that. Uh, good boys. How was that shit? That shit was good, bro. It was funny, and I really hope they do a sequel. Okay. Sequel. Um, but I hope it's like later down the line, like when they're a little older, like at least in Ooh. high school. Okay. Yeah. Going in the so, college type shit. And I hope it's the same as like I really hope they wait till these kids grow up. And that then do another lit. movie. The only problem with that that if the movie is successful, they can when they get older they can ask for more money. You know what I mean? Oh that, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm, yeah. That, that, I'm sure they didn't get shit. Nah, nah, they got something because the, so? the little white kid, mm-hmm. no, um, I guess the smallest one, not not the rock. Yeah, 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 but the other the nerdy one, mm-hmm. he was in the Predators movie. Oh, he was in that shit. Yeah, and he was in something else before that, so he he got a couple movies under his belt. Okay, hopefully you get a nice little check then. I don't know the other two. I don't I don't recognize them, but. Bro, hopefully I hope they drop another um movie though. But it gotta be the same actors, and it gotta be like, well, it, 
It don't gotta be the same actors, nah, but I would like it. Be the best scenario would be yeah. the same actors. And it's like, they gotta be like high school or college or something. Um, it's gotta be a little bit more to it, bro. Uh, shit. What, what's on your mind? I was gonna bring up something right now about a movie or something. I lost it. Shit. <laughs> um, God, I was just thinking about this. It wasn't the Venomers. The Doctor Strange movie. We forgot to talk about Doctor that. Doctor Strange first uh, horror movie. That's Deadpool. what they're rated R, too. Deadpool. The Deadpool movie. That's what I was going to bring up. Mm. Rumor is it's going to be rated R. Which is good. They got to keep them rated R. Oh, God. Probably, I love Mission. They might do a Spider-Man parody off of that shit. Nah, like that, that like the movie's not going to be a Spider-Man parody, but it's going to have some Spider-Man to it. I'd be cool with that. Um, now they could use other characters instead of just. Oh, you uh, Spider Man instead of just. Spider-Man. No, no, no. Uh, Deadpool instead of just Colossus yeah. and everybody. Like certain things that he could do shit with, like the Hulk, and that's gonna be lit. Yeah, it's gonna be lit. Deadpool versus the Hulk. And like they said, if they incorporate Deadpool in other movies that are like PG thirteen, they mm-hmm. could just cut off and say, "Saying what the fuck?" They could be like, "What the." F- Mm-hmm. They cut it off Smack and go to another mouth. scene. You know what I'm saying? That's lit. Um, uh, go ahead. What was gonna say? Uh, Doctor Strange being rated R, which I didn't know that. That should be cool. You re- you looked it up? I ain't look it up. Okay, nah, I'm, I'm almost positive it's rated because it's the first her. If it movie. is, that should be dope. That shit should I hope be they dope. start going to the darker side of Marvel. I think they will. And they if, have to. Yeah. They have At to. least, if not in the movies, at least for the show. No, they have to cut because Blade is going to be. Blade has to be rated R. Yeah. Is Blade, who's Blade, I'm Blade, pretty sure Blade is rated R. Who's Blade's too. nemesis? Dracula. Dracula. You can't make a fucking PG 13. It could be Morbius. Morbius could be a fucking little but it's like Sony. It would be dope if Morbius was like a little um was like Dracula's right hand man. Like yeah. his first Daywalker to match mm. the Daywalker. Well, that's another thing too. You know what I'm saying? Jack, uh Blade fights a lot of like Blackheart. He fights Blackheart, I think, which I think is the Marmo's son. Okay. In which the Marmo was in Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think his son is Blackheart. Blade fights Blackheart, I believe. Um, I forget what that other guy is. They're the saying person. that um, uh, that fucking with the, with the whole horror thing, the, that's how they're introduced like other characters. Mm-hmm. Morbius was kind of one. Um, they said, uh, "Geez, why am I drawing all these blanks?" Now? <laughs> um, the dude who likes to hunt. Um, Peter or Spider Man. Oh, Craven. Craven. He's not gonna be rated R, but he's gonna be into it. And I guess he's gonna have something to do with um he's gonna have a history with the Wakandians. Yeah, yeah, I think he said that before. And then there's rumors that Wakanda and they kinda laid the bait if this is true, they kinda already laid that out, the foundation. Mm-hmm. But supposedly that the Atlanteans were gonna fucking come into the MCU mm-hmm. and um what's his name was gonna probably Namor. fight um one more time? Namor? Namor, yeah. He was going to be fighting, had a conflict with the T'Challa and them over there. And I'm wondering if they're ever going to lead into the Illuminati, man. It's inevitable. They have to. They're already going into it. In, in the next five years, probably mm-hmm. not. That'll probably be like the next, next, next phase. You think they'll go on that long? I think <clears> they're <throat> going to reset it eventually. I think they're going to reach a point and they're going to reset it. You know what I'm saying? Because the actors yeah. can only do it for yes so no. long. Yes and no. You don't, why do you say yes and no? What's the no They'll part? reset it, but it won't be a reset. That's where the multiverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, where yeah. you get the reset. Without it say, they'll probably reset. do like a Deadpool kills. It's different lines, different yeah, yeah. timelines. You know Deadpool I mean? kills the, the MCU. And he'll probably kill everybody. Like a little joke movie, kill everybody in that fucking movie or something. Well, I mean, they probably else, won't do that. But somebody, cool. no. But if they did, then somebody else from a different universe, yeah, through because somebody else from another universe fucking reach out to them mm-hmm. and they fucking being nosy, finding out, fucking around, yeah. Like there, there's, there's endless ways to fucking yeah, do it. As long as they do it right. If it was DC, they fuck. I'd be like, no, they're <laughs> it up. But it's the MCU. I, I, they have my vote. 
of confidence. Yeah. Like, DC as much as I hate to sure. fucking admit it, because I'm a DC guy, but their <laughs> movies fucking They should just do animated DC. movies. Put the money in their animated movies. Oh. Throw those to the theaters. Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans. Oh, you told me about that. Check it out. Yeah, it's I pretty guess good. So. Do you like Teen Titans? I like the Teen Titans. OG? The OG Teen Titans. Fine. Oh, fuck what this new shit. one sucks, but when you have kids and you have to watch it, <laughs> it's not. You too come good. to the realization that some of the shit is actually kind of fucking funny. It's stupid, just, yeah, but it's kind of. It's just why they had to get rid of the other one, bro. Stupid, we have both of them. I know, bro. So I guess word, that word is that they're about. trying to bring that back, though. Uh, I heard. I've been hearing rumors about I it. Hope so. I hope so too, man. Because that was my shit. That was the shit, bro. T-E-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-E-N-T-
I like some, I like some of it. Some I wouldn't few. do it. I wouldn't do it that way. A lot of things, but it's like. But at the same time, it's not me. That's your platform, like exactly. You know what I mean? And All I know is he's hooking up places with power and water. water. I like to say the same thing. And I mean, yo, shout outs to Jada Smith. I fuck with Jada, Keep doing bro. your thing, man. If yeah. I ever start doing the music, I do a track. Shout out them. to Will Smith for fucking being a dope ass pops. Cause I be seeing how cool he is with his son and how he pushes him. And even though. Shit might be kind of weird. He's always encouraging them, and that's that's the dopest shit to do right there. Yeah. That's the way to do it, man. You know what I mean? Dude, I was watching Will Smith do this video, and he just randomly recited one of Jaden's song, the Goku song. He did the fucking song. I was like, bro, this nigga probably don't even know who Goku is, <laughs> but he know his son Birds. I was like, fucking respect that shit. That's, that's it, bro, man. That's what we need, bro. Man. And honestly, as minorities, that's what we need to be seeing, like man. families. Moms, dads, working, helping. Get rid of this fucking up, stereotype you know I mean? that fucking. You. Not no fucking savage. I don't even know who's popping right now, but not no fucking niggas talking about sipping lean, slinging dope. Yeah, yeah, that's My bad. daddy left me when I was four. <laughs> like, nah, bro, get over that shit. Like, you, this nigga Drake be doing that shit. Dad live in Memphis. Blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> nigga, no, like, bring light of that shit. Like, that's why I fuck with me, cause like his dad was killed. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I could I could kind of relate. Like, there's like the way he, he never glorifies it. It's just mm. like he's just kind of like showing like why he's a product of his environment because mm. he didn't have that figure staring him growing up, mm. showing him like all he saw was his mom struggling, easy way to make money, help. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. Definitely, I'm definitely lucky to still have my dad. He should be lit, bro. Mm-hmm. Definitely lucky, but at the same time, bro, like we fucking look at that shit <clears throat> like a, a a badge of honor or some shit. Facts, bro. When okay, like yeah, dope for doing, dope for making it, dealing what you had to deal with. But at the same time, excuse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like that's nothing like like there's don't use that excuse to act like a fucking yeah. idiot, bro. I have a family member. Oh, I had the game bang because my daddy wasn't around. No, the fuck you did, yeah. bro. I know plenty of people who dad not around who are Tell fucking me. making way more money than Tell any of that. us. Like, telling me. Shit, if my dad. <laughs> if it was like, if it was like, like my pops, he was selling shit. Mm-hmm. He was with the wrong fucking crowd. I don't really want to say who's involved with mm-hmm. online, but like, and they caught up to him. Nigga got they get caught up to him, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, they got his ass. Hey, man, this boy. Yeah. Buried him. <clears throat> buried him underground. Um, stabbed him up. Both of them. Shit. Left them alive. Put them in six feet under and poured, poured fucking concrete over them. Jesus, bro. While was alive. You ain't never told me about that shit. Bro. I <laughs> see why, but fuck. Um, I'm not gonna say where, but like, um, when when we found out, <clears throat> like two years ago, because uh, his wife at the time reported him missing, mm-hmm. and then like two years later they found her body. Shit. <coughs> <coughs> but I'm sorry, they didn't really find her body. They found bone. Uh, they found everything had decomposed, mm-hmm. and they only found teeth, and that's how they uh, identified. Him. But like um. Yeah, he had a Porsche to his name and a fucking Diablo and a um, Lamborghini Diablo. Yeah. And um, I guess it was supposed to come to us, like, um, just we're the oldest kids or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom turned it away, though. She didn't want none of that shit. Yeah, she I, I, hey. And I was like, yo, take it and fucking sell it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. but I'm, she probably didn't but want, she didn't want no part of that, that shit, bro. Style, though. And then, like, now I'm older you and I read it. the reports and I was like, Get it, cause I want to get this out of. I was like, I want a Lamborghini. I know whip. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, man, but it's real there, man. Like it's crazy. That's why I was like, I get it. I mean, that's why everything. Anytime something happened with me, yeah, and then my rebellious teenage stages, <laughs> all my aunts, cause like they live in Puerto Rico. My my mom, and my dad, but like my aunts. My uncle with the twins, mm-hmm. I found out years later, he had some shit. To do with it. He he had some, no, he had some personal problems. Mm-hmm. My uncle ended up telling me. 
with some people in Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's drug related. Definitely money related. I'm assuming it's drug related. And the way my uncle told me was, because you know how we all got that favorite uncle? Mm-hmm. That's real cool down to earth. So my uncle is that uncle to me. Yeah. His uncle was the dude I'm talking to you about that looked like he was native, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So like he had some beef with some people and they were trying to kill, they were trying to come for him. Mm-hmm. So then he got scared, told his mom, and like most of the family moved from Puerto Rico to Connecticut, to Bridgeport, Connecticut. Mm-hmm. My mom and my, and my dad moved with them, you know what I'm saying? Because it was trying to get away I don't know that whole story, but I'm sure they're trying to get with us up. Mm-hmm. So like, they lived out there, and then from there they moved to Virginia, yeah. which is where I was born. And then my dad fucking left, split after I was born, and my mom was pregnant with my sister. So pretty much, like, the shit is crazy how, yeah. how the shit can be like. Uh, the yeah. influences, it's easy to, to, to be influenced and be steered mm. the easy route. The easy route is stealing anybody can steal whatever you know what I'm saying like I could be a work and fucking pocket some money you know yeah. what I'm saying like that's the easy you route selling drugs <laughs> yeah you're right but like, just in case I go with right? dude I lost five bucks the other day I fucking work at work man I was mad as fuck but anyway but like you could sell drugs like there's the easy route doesn't pay like in a short term yeah it does but it always mm. catches up oh it's always, you gotta work hard dog dog the right way is always the hardest way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and it is what it is, man. Shit. You want to take shortcuts, it all comes back to you, man. Full right. circle, you know? Shit's crazy. Shit is crazy, man. I definitely know a lot about it, like that shit. Cause my, like, my dad was also, you know, in his shit. And, like, again, oh, geez, he, that is... one of the people who fucking had the same story. Like, he didn't have a dad, blah, blah. And eventually, you know, he got smart. And my dad's one of the was one of the hardest working people ever. At least that that's where I get mine from. Yeah. Like fucking hard work. My mom too, like working two or three jobs but at the same time. Sometimes working them together, bro, whatever it took to make yeah. sure we have food or school, or whatever. Facts. So that's what I grew up with. I was I'm lucky to have parents like that. Thanks, man. So Yeah, at home alone watching fucking Happy days or fucking yeah. some shit on Nick at night, fucking late at night, nobody home, like yeah, working like what mm-hmm. the fuck? You don't know no better, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I ain't seen my there were times I didn't see him. I only seen my dad for like a week or two, Bro. and that was a long time for me. And then my mom would work. I was I lived with my mom alone, so mm-hmm. like she would work the dope. She would work yeah. one job in the morning, one job at night. So we had this Mexican lady who was illegal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But she was cool as shit, nice as fuck. Her and her son, the both illegal, which they both shit. got deported yeah. recently. Uh, shit, my mom and dad would take me to work with them. Um, if I could help sometimes, they had me going with them, bro. Yeah. So they babysitting, and then sometimes the older lady, Maria, yeah. Doña Maria, she would fucking um, work other places at night too. So that would be nice that I, she can watch her. So yeah, well, those nights we. I'd be at home with my sister alone. Mm-hmm. I'm six, seven years old. Mm-hmm. My sister's five years old, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking out, my mom's working. She's like, yo, if anything happens to me up here tomorrow. <laughs> Bro, I remember one night, we in the, we lived in the project, so we in an apartment, multi-story, it's like four or five, four stories, huh? Yeah. And um, we lived in the f- first floor. There's a basement and then the first floor. We lived in the first floor. And like um, it's nighttime watching Happy Days or fucking Bewitched or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. is on when you don't have cable and you just got that channel. And um, I always see a red light, like a sight, like a laser. Oh shit! And I'm like, yeah. like I got scared as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like T Terminator Two was like my favorite movie at the time. Yeah. I'm like, yo, niggas trying to shoot at us. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I get up and I call um, I hit my mom up in the pager. Shit. She didn't answer. This was the time we had pager. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. I remember I picked it up and I hit the pager. She didn't answer. So I called Mario, who was Doña Maria's son. Mm-hmm. He, he did maintenance for the neighbor, for the projects. Yeah. He worked there under the table. So I called him up and I was like, yo, people are out here. I see everybody has guns. And, and I'm thinking guns and shit. Yeah. And then and they came through. 
and like five minutes later, because he lived in the same neighborhood, he had came through, unlocked the door for me, came through, and like, but I was not, I was shook as fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. And, I, and like now that I think about it, I bet you that was my fucking bitch ass cousin. <laughs> he lived in the same project, but he lived like way up on mm-hmm. the higher side. Cause you, I bet you that was that nigga doing that mm-hmm. shit, bro. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I don't doubt that shit one bit. You met my cousin before, right? Have I? I don't know. I don't know. He older. He's ten years older than me. Like he older, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's funny. I hated living That's in so DC. Funny. I didn't like DC growing up, bro. I bet. Like it was too real, son. <laughs> that shit's too real. <laughs> like, DC's a bad place. Man. I didn't oh, want man. to deal with that shit. I went bro. out there. I got cousins out there too, and they would tell me like, "Yo, certain places you don't go." Like, bro, man, facts. Was, yeah, but. I got taken there one time by like my other my cousin's husband-in-law. Mm-hmm. Shout out yeah. to Mumbo Sauce, bro. Mumbo Sauce. So real though. And fucking bro, Mumbo Sauce. And the mother- Why is that only a music? music? I don't know, because it's delicious. That shit is amazing, bro. I know how to make it. Bro? Right? Yeah. Shoot me that recipe, yo. It's so easy. It's not the exact, it's not the exact same, but it's as close you're going to get when I was going yeah, to DC. Yeah. It's just easy as fuck, though. That shit is good, bro. I want to do a big, like, seafood pub, like. Like, a, think, yeah, Charles been fucking talking about that shit forever. Bro, I'm, I want to do that shit. I'm like, yo, I'll buy whatever. Just bro, tell me bro, when. I want to do that shit, bro. I saw an arm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what? To tell me when I'm about to get the. Yo, I get paid. Like, right, bro, I want fucking crabs, paws. I want fucking. <laughs> Some shrimp, shrimp, throw the potatoes and the, the potato, corn in there, the sausage. Just do Lobster it optional. Don't even need the lobster. Don't need it, but, but I'll, I'll take, take it. it. Clams. Throw it all in there. Bro. I want all that shit. I want to be strong like Rockwala. <laughs> Did we talk about the fight, bro, on the podcast? Which one? Adesanya? I don't think so. We didn't talk. Yo, that fight was beast, bro. Yo, what you say in the last lose. podcast? Though. I thought he was gonna lose. I thought there was no way he was gonna win. I, I thought if he did win, it would be by decision. That's I what never I thought. thought that he would knock him I out thought until the first round almost ended. Bro. And I was like, No! <laughs> no! And my wife was watching it with me. She's like, What? I'm like, Daddy was I picked sweet. him. I was like, He's not supposed to knock him out. She's like, Oh, well, it happened. I'm like, I was talking so much shit. <laughs> I was talking so much shit. <laughs> I give you my that. word. I give you my word. And she was like, well, the round ended. I was like, it's over. Yeah, she was like, the over. round's over. I was like, it's over. I was like, look at his eyes. That's a, look yo, at his eyes. I knew it's it was over. over. I was like, this nigga's not And then the there. second round came out, and he, he was swinging. And I was and like, I was like oh, maybe not. Maybe it won't be. And then the he beast. got caught by the left hook. Ba-ba! The counter level, bro. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. Bro. What the fuck? This nigga's a beast, man. I was like, <laughs> I oh my god, man. why did I doubt him? I was real about to see him. I was like, yo, dude, I'm gonna go like, Look, look at all this shit they're talking to me right now. <laughs> yo, I, I texted him, I was like, you saw, I said, you watching the fight? Uh, I don't know, wait, because I didn't want to spoil it. Yeah. So I was like, see the fight? <laughs> That's all I said. I forgot what I replied. He was like, I forgot to. I was like, Price oh my, man. I don't even remember. But I was just oh like, my God. that was crazy. That's why I love the sport, bro, because you never fucking know, man. Like, you never know. And then in a couple of weeks, we got the DS. You just said, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the fight? Bro. <laughs> No comment until Monday. Yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did he reply? I said, that counter? This nigga didn't even reply. <laughs> like, what talking person? <laughs> this nigga didn't even reply to my shit. I was even mad. I Yo, was I was just like, dude, what the Bro, fuck? Dude. Little skinny ass nigga giving all the skinny niggas hope. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good fucking fight, bro. Bro, he, 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 yeah. It was a good fight. 
I want to see his next fight because now he's got to fight Paulo Costa. Yo, they trying to hype up this him versus Jones shit, bro. Jones is going to destroy him, bro. I just... I think at first I was like... big, man. And he's too good at everything else. Like, Whitaker should have taken this nigga to the ground. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he shouldn't have... People are afraid of his grapple, man. People think he got... The grapple is cool, like, but, like... I don't know. I haven't seen him grapple. I haven't seen too many of his fights. We haven't seen like that nigga wrestle. He got some moves, though. He got some moves. We nice haven't team, seen though. him, like, in the rest. Like, that's. Like, he's really good, yo. I watched every single one of that nigga's fights since mm-hmm. he's been in the UFC out of Sunday. He's good. And the people he's fought, he won. But, like, they gave him, like, that Connor treatment in a sense, like. Mm-hmm. In the sense, like, they're trying to build their star. Smart. Because he is a star, like yeah. without a doubt, like he's probably bigger than Connor. He probably and will if be. He's he's not, he will be bigger yeah. than Connor because he's a fucking star. And like, but with Connor, they never like Connor was a really good striker. He, I just think he's a really good striker, really good. Um, they're both well rounded, mm-hmm. but what they excel at is on their feet striking. Yeah, whether it's with their hands or their feet. Mm-hmm. What they're weak against are wrestlers. Yeah. People who put them down on the ground, pin them down, put their weight on them, make them work to stand up, exhaust their energy, work them out, punch them, elbow them. All. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's a grind out. It's tedious. It's not... Yeah. It's a fucking marathon. The you know G- what I'm saying? GSP. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, the I old school this. fucking wrestling. <laughs> and, like... So, like, Grant... So, where I'm going with this is, like, they... Like Connor, he fought a bunch of strikers. Okay, he fought uh, Mendez, short notice, three weeks notice or whatever it was. That's not. And he got he was getting fucked up, but yeah. he this nigga Chad. Oh yeah, Chad Mendez. He gassed out. You know what I'm saying? Knocked him out. Not taking anything away from Connor, but then he ain't fight a wrestler till Eddie Alvarez. And then Eddie, what he do? Fought fucking standing up like a dumbass. Got knocked the fuck out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then so like you got Adesanya. Fought a bunch of strikers. Um, fought, um, what's the black, not Usman. What's the other black dude name in the same weight class? Um, Brunson. Mm-hmm. Derek Brunson. Fought Brunson. Fucked him up. Brunson is really good at wrestling. Why the fuck didn't Brunson <laughs> take him down? You know what I'm saying? So, like, they didn't match him up with a, a, a stylistically a problem. Mm-hmm. But he didn't fight. Maybe that his problem. wrestling is beast, bro. And they afraid to take him down. Just maybe you know what it is? It's not that, bro. I could tell you what it is. I could be wrong, but what I think it is, is they get into their opponent's head. Oh, yeah. And it makes their opponent want to fight their fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of the opponent just listening to it, taking it lightly, laughing about it, not Mm -hmm. showing that it's getting to them, it gets to them. So when they get in the cage... I want to fuck him up at his style. Yeah. I want to beat him at his shit. And then boom, 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 boom. (laughs) <laughs> sweet. That happens, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's me. That's my opinion. Like that's the way I see it. Like they're great fighters, though. Don't get me wrong. And yeah. like that mental warfare, that's a big part of the fighting shit. If you could get in a dude's head under their skin to where they're not even gonna follow the game plan they've been working for three months on. Yeah. They've been working on the game plan for three fucking months, bro. I mean, and you a- piss him off so fucking bad. He throws all that shit to the side and just wants to street fight. Yeah. I think another thing I just say did listening to him his interviews and I think more fighters should probably do it is he rehearsed everything. But he came out with a b boy stand, bro. But he rehearsed it, so when he did that shit, he was he wasn't nervous. Everything's going according to plan. He was flowing, bro. His Yo, ch- he said my chakra was high. <laughs> I was like, this Naruto <laughs> ass nigga. The death this nigga said my chakra was high. I felt my chakra. I was like, this motherfucking nerd, bro. Bro, but like, he was like, rehearsed the fight, so everything felt natural, and he was prepared for everything. He walked through the crowd. Yeah. That nigga said he it was envisioned. deja vu. Yeah, he saw that shit, and that, that raises Dang. your confidence, bro. He saw, he come. Bro, yeah. that was McGregor, bro. Yeah. McGregor, McGregor be like, I'm gonna knock him out in the first round. I'm like, this motherfucking dumbass, knock him out in the first what the fuck? Like, bro, McGregor Crazy. was telling him, bro. I didn't like him. 
because he was I a good showman, see him. bro. But he was, but he was like, I always wanted to see him fight. Whether it was to see him get knocked the fuck out yeah. and lose or win, like I always asshole. tuned in. Like, can't yeah. stand the guy. He got a lot of my pay per view monies though. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not gonna lie, you know what I mean. But that's the beauty of the sport. Like, that's what's cool about how to say is because he's just a fucking cool ass nerd yeah. ass beat your ass dude. Like, and it's all most like you said, it's all stand up, which is the more entertaining. Yeah, everybody fight. wants to see that shit. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants, everybody to wants to see crotch huggers. Yo, GSPs, I hate fucking watching GSP fight. I got the love for the fight though, because that's another I, style of fight. I can live with that. I, and honestly, the best fighters are wrestlers. Yes. All of the best fighters are wrestling because I, when, I, I, when they can't strike or they get dazed, mm-hmm. they go for the leg and they take you down and then they recover. I, I 100% you know what I'm not saying? like watching it, but I 100% respect it and I understand how much skill, how much strength, how much stamina it's just you need to have to Like, do. I've never wrestled, but like, you struck, you boxed before, right? Or done from shit, you not know really. what But like, you did kickboxing with us one time, right? No. Oh, with Mikey and Casey and Kogo? No, nah. no. Nah. Well, what the fuck it's different though. We had some kick. I um, remember Mendes, his father-in-law, yeah. his father-in-law was a black belt. Okay. And um, so we had like five dollar lessons out there. We were doing that a little bit years ago, but um, uh, it's different, bro. Like striking, yeah. Weightlifting, mm-hmm. all that shit versus wrestling is different though. Oh, I because, bet. Because like, like weightlifting. If you're doing curls and you're doing your biceps, mm-hmm. it's a certain area of soreness. You know what I'm saying? If you do tries, your chest, or whatever, certain area. Um, same thing, anything else. Kickboxing, you know, arms, shoulders, try all that shit might be sore if you throw mm-hmm. 2,000 strikes in a day. Kick. But like wrestling, you're using every fiber of your fucking body mm-hmm. all the time, flexing trying to out wrestle another fucking human being at your same weight trying to do the same thing to you so it's not like it's not like basketball where I, I'm on offense you're on defense I'm fucking you up I know what I want to do and then you're on offense I'm on defense and I'm trying to stop you I'm trying to guess that like we're like constantly like yeah trying to fucking you know like bang it like, like yeah I'm gonna be trying to fucking go at it like and then though Whoever tires out fuck. first is going to be the one to fucking lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, every fiber, like, when you hold on to somebody, like, everything in you is fucking holding oh, on, it's bro. Tight. You, you know what I'm saying? To You're breathe. holding on. You're trying to breathe. You're fucking trying, trying to choke out. you out. You're bro, trying to get out of it. Instinctually, you're trying to move, but you know you can't move too yeah, far because you your neck is exposed. Like, bro, those motherfuckers are savages. But yeah, uh, fuck that shit, bro. That's all I had, though, bro. I don't think there's nothing else. No, I might be missing something, but we'll bring Hopefully it up. Hopefully, we got Christian next week. Yeah, bro. Fucking Christian. Yo, it's been like two weeks, though. Right? Yeah, because yeah, I called out last week. I think I called out one week, too. Called out my own. Day, yeah. But yeah, so. Uh, shit happens. Grown life shit. We not famous yet. We ain't making money on this nah, shit. Nah, man. So, Can't uh, just dedicate all my time. Just, but if y'all comment, like, and subscribe, <laughs> ask questions. Oh, shout out to my first subscriber on Twitch. Hey, 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 hey. I forgot his name. I'll yell his name out about it. You're the fucking goat, though. No, you're the first. You the many. first, bro. Yo, we gotta put his name down. Yeah, I'll put it in there. Like, actually, after let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and pull it up. After the hundred thousandth, thousandth. We going to pull it up. Subscriber. He gets a gift. What? What? After we hit. After you hit. Your hundred thousand I might do something for 200, to be real. For just 200 subscribers? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Celebrate. Yeah. Team Roof I was here. Supposed, I was supposed to do something for a hundred. Team Ruthless gear? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do a shirt. Maybe. I might do a shirt. I don't know, know yeah, man. You know who does um them cups? Them fucking cups? Them big ass things that stay cold for a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are them shits called? The, we got them. Yetis. Yetis. So, apparently, Mike was saying that K 
Casey does that shit. Now. I see that Girl, on we Facebook. Should do a tier. There's one. Name me might. Away. Name me might have to. No. Huh? I'm trying to get this dude's name. Cause I don't want to disrespect my boy. The evil thing at Link King Piccolo. Fuck. We got you. We can't find it right now, but we'll find it. We gonna, we got you, bro. Hold up. Nah, I'm not gonna do that because my. Oh, me. that's lit. Oh, that little picture. Bro, I had to fire. switch it up. I had to switch it up. I don't know if opening this is gonna fuck up my shit, but this should tell me if who subscribe. And I gotta. Sh- this is how important you are. Podcast should be over, but I gotta shout you out because I fucking respect you. One of many, bro. We'd like to thank you for opening the door. This shit might fuck up my podcast, though. Well, fuck it. We gotta sh- update. Oh my god. Mi corazón. I probably could have just went to Twitch faster than I just. Mi corazón. Twitch. Call of Duty in nine fucking days. Fuck that game, nine days. Bro. Nine days. Spec ops and all. Fuck that dude, bro. Bro, four player spec ops. Why don't they notify me or notify me when I actually have a subscriber? Like this is gonna have some bullshit. Yo, tell me who subscribed to me. I'm about to change. Ever since I got affiliate, though, said it, everything looks fucking different, and I don't like it. Man, fuck. I just want to shout you out, bro. I'm just saying, I'm trying to give you a little love. Why did I make it so hard? Subscription. You gonna tell me who? Fuck. Tell Look at your who. notifications on the top right. I'm sure it popped up. Look, we getting money. <laughs> Two dollars? We getting money. Show my money a... dance. Uh, uh. I got no money dance. Look at your notification. Go back to the other page. Did you? I looked at the notification. They Did you? Me. Like, you know how the alerts be popping up? Yeah, yeah. There's no alert you already read? Nah, they didn't tell me. Fuck. Yo, but on the real, if you want to get a shout out, just drop a little donation and uh, we got you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> me too. Too early in the game to be asking for that shit. Nah, nah, nah. Never too early. <laughs> nah, nah, You're nah. an affiliate. I mean, yeah. I ain't Maybe too now. early. When is it not too early? All I know is I got a subscriber, so I want to. I like your layout, out. though. I like your title, your banner, mm-hmm. and then when, oh, when yeah, and then when somebody subscribes, how it is on the side. I like I like a little layout. Oh, my thing will pop up. You gonna, gonna do it to fire. where you gonna do it to where you when you stream, you can see yourself. And yeah, that person in the camera. bottom and shit. You yeah, know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. Like, edit it out, like, green screen type shit. I don't have the green screen. I don't know if it's a green screen feature, but I would imagine. Like, you know, when you only see the person. Yeah, that's green screen. I don't have that yet. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. I kind of like the background. I like, no, nah, I like it green screen because it takes up less space. You know that's what I'm saying? True. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 I feel like it blends in a little bit better. Nah, you're right about that. That is something that is true. I kind of don't. I, I don't. The square's not do bad. That. It's not bad. I don't like how I look. The square or like when you blend it in? When you do, when you blend it in, like gotcha. the green screen. Yeah. Damn, bro. I want to shout you out, but I can't find your fucking name. Because fuck this game. Fucking Twitch. Or fuck Twitch. <laughs> Shout you out though. You're my first subscriber. I forgot your name. You're the goat I'm forever. Trash. You're a goat forever. But you're the best, dude. So yeah, fuck it. He's my here. number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> we go in here. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the uh the comments, the subscriptions, the on YouTube and Twitch. I fuck with y'all. Oh. Two hundred. Hopefully, I'm gonna do something. I don't know yet. I've been saying that since one hundred though. So 200, hopefully I'm going to do something. I don't know what. I said that again, but whatever. Hit him up on the gram. Hit me up on the gram. At Team Ruthless. At Team Ruthless ENT. For short for entertainment. At Team Ruthless ENT. That's the Twitter. That's the Instagram. I'm trying to be more active on the Twitter. Or on the Instagram. 
And I'm kind of falling off on Twitter too, but I'm getting followers on here. I see y'all following me. Yeah, man. So, yo, keep following, keep keep following, keep subscribing. subscribing. And okay, if y'all want to see certain video game videos, let me know, man. I'll do them. I don't mind. If y'all want to see us cover certain topics in the pod, let me know. Comment. 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 Especially criticism. I see you guys watching. Criticism. I see you guys. I see you guys watching. If you guys feel like I talk like a fag. Let me know. I'll figure out what the fuck to do to not sound like a fag. We gonna like, work it out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Edit that out. Edit that out. That's bad. Edit that out. <laughs> I, like, I said, said that like so four nasty. times. It was two, but it was. It, it might matter. as well have been they six. They cancel us. It anyway. might as well have been eight times. They gonna was, cancel you for the N word anyway. It wasn't faggot though. They gonna get something it's in my bad. hair. Why y'all tell me something was in my hair? Pick that shit. Oh, it's in my car. <laughs> um, but criticize. We want the criticism. Yeah, someone give me you a know? credit today. Thank you for that credit. I'm not a homo fucking. What? I'm not a homo. Uh, what do you call that shit? Actually, I wanted. I homophobic, wanted to answer that. Big person. Oh, you stupid, bro. <laughs> People, we can say it now. Dave Chappelle said it. Right, facts. We can all say it. <laughs> That's how it work. Um, I wanted to answer approval. this guy gave me a critic and I just wanted to answer it and hopefully I didn't turn you off from my channel from this and he said I really really think your channel would benefit from writing a script for your video so they sound less rambly um yes I do agree I do ramble a lot um in terms of a script no especially with the Damon X marketing videos a lot of those videos with the builds is me trying to course you through on how to do a build and not necessarily what to build because I didn't want to just tell y'all yo this should work especially if it don't work <laughs> so I want to tell y'all yo this is what you look for so that's why I kind of freestyle it and kind of learn as I go but also kind of teaching as I learn so that's why I did my marketing videos like that most of my game videos also I like to record my voice while I'm playing because I kind of hate recording afterwards and I hate watching those people kind of I kind of I don't like those videos let's be real I don't like most of those videos I do have some projects that I might actually script out or at least have like a guideline to follow off of but for most of the Damon X Machina videos I'm probably gonna keep doing them the same I know I've been getting better because a lot of people are telling me I've been getting better Facts. So, <laughs> the views, the views are proof. Views, yeah, views are proof. Thanks for the love, guys. I do appreciate that comment, and I am gonna look into. I'm gonna try to make sure I do my best when I am doing more scripts and guidelines because I do but, have some projects that I want to do that I'm gonna have to write out. What are you gonna say? But like we said, like we were talking about, like scripted in a sense, like a st- structure. It probably be more a like a structure, right? Like a. First fifteen minutes, we'll be speaking about this topic. Mm-hmm. The next, then from that topic, we'll lead into this yes. for another ten minutes, and then after that, we got five minutes on this topic. Mm-hmm. Like structural, like that. That that's not that's always great. You yeah. know what I mean. But like rehearse to a point where it's like no. we don't even sound like ourselves. Yeah, I'm sure that's not what he's referring to. Maybe. But like if that's not something like. Like to be, I think I know what he meant. I like meant. to sound like my dumbass. So. Yeah, yeah. I, he just wants me to stop the rambling. And, like, yeah. I'll, I'll say the same thing over, like, twice because I, I leave it and come back. So I get that, and I understand. Um, I'm working on it. And that it just it's only going to get better with time. Hell yeah. So, but, yeah. there will be like, what, episode five? That's a joke. Remember, we said five. Episode like five. <laughs> now nah, we only going to get better. We like wine, baby. Like wine, B. Only get better with, with time. time. I'll be out of this bitch. Y'all be safe. Wow. Love. <sighs>